yeah, I mean, um, I thought that West Indies made us work really hard for the runs that we've that we put on the board there. Um, you know, it's it sort of swung and nicked um, throughout the whole inning. So um, it always felt like there was something in there for the bowlers and. Um, you know, it's something obviously that we spoke about after the GS ball about being being clinical and um, you know if you're the person that's um, managed to get yourself in on wickets, then you've really got to go in and make it count. Um, and obviously, we you know we keep saying that we base our test matches on big first innings runs, and um, you know we managed to do that this week, and um, you know really promising signs for us going forward. Um, but yeah, I think you know having someone um, like Sivers at the other end it obviously allows um, you know to go through the gears differently, like I like to do. Um, you know, having Sivers at the top to be that rock um, and have nothing phase him and uh, and just sort of go along as he does, um, it obviously makes it a lot easier. Um, but yeah, as I said, West Indies made us work really hard for the runs, and um, obviously we're in a very very strong position there. To be honest, I was more buzzing than I faced through. 300 balls and I didn't want to go 100. It was <laughs> something that I never thought I'd ever be capable of doing in batting against 300 balls. But um, you know, it's, as I said, it's you know just being a being aware of conditions and, and how the game's being played. You know, obviously, the more time you spend now in the middle, the more chance you're giving yourself of getting runs and obviously getting put into bat after losing the toss to go on and get 450 like we did as a team is is amazing. And we have managed to to give ourselves a real chance at winning the series. Um, and yeah, you know, I obviously went through the gears um, as I like to do at different periods um, throughout the innings. Um, but yeah, yeah, happy with with how things have gone. I think from us as as players and um, you know as as a group of well as it was as England cricket group, um, you know, it, this is a time where our um, you know way of operation really needs to come through. Um, you know, we really need to be there to support Joffre right now because obviously um, he's a big talking point. Um, and obviously he is, you know, by himself um, because of everything else going on at the moment. But it's making sure that he doesn't feel like he's by himself, you know. The worst thing that we could do right now as a team is to just sort of leave him and, um, you know, see him in five, six days' time and, and then say, all right, you know, times like these for people are uh, very, very tough. Um, and you can feel like you are all by yourself, but um, I don't think anybody is, is going to allow that to happen. Joffre is a massive part of this group, um, and as as everybody is, you know, if it was if it was anybody else about Joffre, it'd be the exact same um, way of handling it that we would do as a team. Um, you know, it's all good being there for people when things are are going going well and smoothly, but. You know, what really comes through is, is how you operate with someone when um, they need you the most. So no, really, I think just hunger, desire and um, always wanting to get better, you know. Um, you know I'm always trying to think of and, and, and speaking to the right people about, um, you know, where to get better in, in all different areas. Um, but, you know, I feel like I'm, I'm at an age now and, and at an experience level now where I really understand my game pretty much all of the time um, and sort of try and not get carried away with everything you know and obviously being a, an instinctive player is, is great at times but not letting that affect how um, you know I sort of I don't know sort of to get too far ahead of myself you know there's times in the past where I've sort of let how I'm playing at a certain moment sort of affect me and think I can go out and sort of play some big shots and it'll all be all right. But, um, you know, we spoke about it last week after a Jewish ball, it's just, you know, just being as clinical as you possibly can. And if you're the person out in the middle, just really making sure you go on and make it count. So this week, there was a, there was a lot of that for me is, is you know, you know, being a man who's, who's going to make a difference with the bat. Um, and obviously there was two of us um, in this first two days in Sibbers um, who played a fantastic knock and, um, it's great signs for us going forward that um, all the noise around them after Southampton literally hasn't affected them whatsoever. Um, you know, it's a great way to respond to, to any criticism that there was by going out and banging a hundred. So, um, you know, all the credit got to go to Tom Sibley as well.